Yun is get you it's your boy time back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be taking a look at the pink diamond Kobe Bryant that is going to be coming to NBA 2K24 my team as well as talking about how much is it gonna be what are the cards coming in the set and you know what is just upcoming for the next week we're going to be talking about each and every one of those things now before we dive any further into that if you are new to my channel and have not yet make sure you guys do smash that subscribe button really do appreciate all the recent support again i've been kind of crazy this last week's been kind of crazy but i appreciate you guys weathering the storm with me and uh and yeah showing mad love and a support on each and every one of the videos so in case you missed it Kobe Bryant coming to my team. Obviously, uh, you know, these type of sets have been super expensive. I think Kobe is going to, you know, be the most expensive out of all of them, right? Giannis obviously was expensive. Bron was obviously expensive. But in this paragraph, you read that obviously Kobe, you know, in the final collection comes out on December 22nd. But, 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 but when you read the next paragraph, there are five collections, and you need all of those five collection lock-ins for Kobe Bryant. So it's 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 not like, oh, you just need three of those lock-ins and the rest are free. No, you need five total collections, which, again, is going to probably be pretty expensive. Now, the way 2K makes it phrased is, oh, yeah, in the 10 days, you can complete, you know, a lot of things and, 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 and get a lot of free cards for Kobe. Well, yeah, that's cool. And, and, and honestly, guys, those things are true. But... I don't want you guys to sit there and think Kobe Bryant is free or that Kobe Bryant is mostly free because Kobe Bryant is going to probably be $150. As good as Kobe Bryant is, as much as I probably will get Kobe Bryant and hype the card up, he is going to be super, super expensive. Us says he is available as a special insert. So if you do rip packs, obviously you have a chance to get Kobe. But just know, just realize you probably will not get Kobe Bryant if you open packs. Okay, I can't sit here and lead you guys in the wrong direction. If you open packs, for Kobe that's awesome that is cool but just in the back of your guys' minds know and realize you probably will just be you know spending your VC spending your MT that's fine but just do not expect to pull Kobe Bean Bryant because it probably will not happen now I'm not saying you have a 0% chance to because you do have a chance the chances of, of that happening though are super low so do not be expecting that otherwise you'll just be let down now that's what to know about Kobe here's the set coming tomorrow let's read through the cards uh you got Diamond Ron Artest, Diamond Ray Allen, D-Rob, James Worthy, Elgin Baylor, Jason Kidd, Ruby, Bob Pettit, Brandon Roy, Dennis Johnson, Sapphire, Bill Lambeer, Rolando Blackman, Shane Batty, it could be an incredible budget baller, Emerald, Doug Collins, Ralph Sampson, another could be incredible budget baller, as well as Sean Elliott. Now, what is to note with those cards? Diamond Ron Artest is going to be incredible. D-Rob could be the best big man in the game, and no, I'm not just sitting here trying to gas him. He could be that good in my team. Now, with all that being said, do I think Diamond Penny Hardaway is worth the lock-in? I'm going to say it like this. If you're not locking in for Kobe Bryant, I would not get Penny Hardaway. I mean, I think Cade Cunningham is going to be just as good, if not better, than Penny Hardaway will be. Now, could I be wrong? Yeah, absolutely. I'll be the first to admit that I, I could possibly be wrong on that, and we'll just kind of have to wait and see. But I'm telling you guys right now, as it stands at the time I'm recording this, I do think Penny Hardaway is going to be one of the overall not not worth it, right? I mean, there are going to be some cards worth it. Penny Hardaway, I just don't think will be. Now, again, in this set, I do think there are going to be some cards that, you know, you can make the case uh, that are going to be worth it. Like like even, uh, you know, some budget ballers. Let's look at Shane Batty. I think he's incredible. Sean Elliott for a budget baller, probably going to be incredible. And if you are a big baller, D-Rob Reiner says, that is really what where I would look. Obviously, Christmas ornament balls. If you lock in all of them, it's cool. Uh, you get, you know, uh, you get some good things, obviously. If you get all of them, you uh, you, you know you get. You, you, I, I say you get a lot of things. You get a Hall of Fame badge. Now, does that work for everybody? No, not everybody loves Hall of Fame badges, but that is ultimately what you get. And I don't know about you guys, but I do personally love Hall of Fame badges because I play in tournaments, stuff like that, and it definitely helps you guys out. Obviously, in season tournament that's finishing up. There is an in season tournament court available if you beat uh, the, the the teams. Now, for me, I'm not the biggest uh, fan of just anything to do with that it's cool whatever but i just don't see it much uh with that obviously season rewind we uh kind of know what that was all about let's look at this schedule for the upcoming week because i do think it is important 
to look at and just see what is coming. Let's read through things. With a new event starting, here are the player cards you can look forward to adding in your collection. Obviously, Friday, that's the drop I just already talked about that we know it's coming. New to the season player coming in the agendas on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. On Tuesday, that's the Tis the season past meets present set. So when we look through all these cards uh, that are coming out, it's all in the past. So the cards on Tuesday, expect them all to be in the present. You know, maybe we'll see, uh, you know, card like Tyrese Halliburton, cards like that are kind of what I would be expecting. New gl new gauntlet on Wednesday. I feel like that's one thing that people aren't really talking a whole bunch about is a, is a gauntlet coming. Obviously, players via the agendas on Wednesday and Thursday as well. But the gauntlet is kind of the big news there. The the, the thing that I would kind of encourage you guys to, uh, to notice the most is that the gauntlet is coming. So here's my ultimate breakdown on, on not only Kobe Bryant, but what is... To come in the next couple of weeks. So, obviously, this set, this is a big part of this video. Do I think Penny Hardaway is worth the lock-in? No, I don't. And, and again, a lot of people might disagree with me on that. But I just, I can't sit up here in front of you guys and honestly tell you that Penny Hardaway is worth it. Because... I just don't think he is. Now, again, do what you guys got to do. I'm not going to sit here and, 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 and judge anybody if you lock in Penny because I, I get it. I'm just saying for me, I do ultimately not think he's worth it. Now, run run whoever you want to run. Buy him if you want to buy him. I don't think he's worth it. If you want to spend MT, get Ron Artest, D-Rob. I think they're both incredible. Sapphire, Shane, Battier, as well as Sean Elliott. If you are wanting, uh, you know, again, I'm not trying to, to sit here and and tell you to do anything, but if you do want to, uh, you know, spend some, uh, spend some MT on the game, spend some money. Those are, you know, the guys I recommend are in, in, in D. Rob and Ron Artest, and then balling on a budget, nobody spent those cheaper options that I might pick up for the nobody spent. But just don't be fooled when it says ten cards that you can add for free. That is true. Okay, I, I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat things. That is true. But just know, just keep in the back of your guys' minds that even though that all is true. It is still going to be expensive to lock in for Kobe Bryant. Still going to be ridiculously expensive. So I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm fair warning everybody. I'm telling y'all right now, he is going to be expensive to lock in. So, I mean, going into this, don't be fooled. You're probably looking at $150 for Kobe Bryant. If that fits what you want to do, awesome. If it doesn't, even better. Because I cannot physically recommend you guys locking in for Kobe Bryant because I just do not ultimately think he's worth it. Although on my, you know, account that I play in tournaments, I obviously will have to do what I have to do. That's my breakdown of this upcoming week. I want to know your guys' thoughts on Kobe as well as this is the season past set that is coming to my team Friday as well as the present set coming on Tuesday. Let me know each and all of your guys' thoughts. Again, thank you guys for all of the recent support. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.